Okay, we're here with DJ Matthews of Knox Nursery. DJ, we're here in the production area of Knox Nursery. Uh, what all is done in this particular room in general? Um, this is our seed sowing production area. Okay. This, is, this particular workstation is our RFID label printer and encoder. Okay. So is this where all the production starts for the company? Yes. So every production order that goes to this company starts right here? Yes. Okay. Um, you want to show me what exactly happens at this station? What do you do? And, okay. Yes. Um, you, you will, this is our train label training program. Okay. Um, put in your purchase order number in order to print out the tray labels that are needed for this production order. Okay. So that comes on a printed report. Yes. It comes and here on a printed report and they then go through and print the correct number of labels that are needed for production. Now do they actually have to put in the number of labels they need or does the no. system automatically know? Um, the production number corresponds to a um, tray quantity. Okay. So one production order can only have one tray quantity. Okay. So you've put in the order number, and it looks like you're queuing up something here. Or what do you have to do? Just um, hit print labels now? Or? Yes. This screen shows you the uh, production order number, the item number, and the item description of that's going to print out on the label. Okay. It also tells you how many labels that you need for your production order. How many that you've already been printed? Okay. How many you need to print, and if you need to sew or print extra labels, you can do that by typing in into these two fields. Okay. For this production order, you only need to print one label. Okay. So. So you're gonna click on print label, and it sent the print queue over to our um, print apply. Print apply um, label machine. Okay, so this is an applicator that automatically applies a label to a tray? Yes. Oh, that's pretty neat. So that little arm, swing arm comes around and, and it tamps the label right on the tray? Yes. So there's no need for somebody to peel a label off of a roll and apply it to the And they used tray. to do that here, correct? Yes. Hand apply, 12,000 labels, 15,000 labels. Yes. Every wow, week. crazy. And okay. it also helps us keep the RF antenna safe. So the antenna is inside that label, is that correct? Yes. So you have a, a printed label with human readable human readable uh, text on it. Looks like there's a barcode. Yes. And also there's an RFID antenna on the inside of that, is that correct? Yes. Okay. Now right now the RF antenna is not encoded. It has no data associated with it. Okay. This station is here for. So, okay. So you just you have a program that helps you encode trays? Yes. It will read the barcode, which is the serial number for this tray, uh -huh. and encode that serial number into our RF tab. Okay. So just like that. Just like that. I saw, I saw a green color flash on the screen there. Yes. It's a visual indicator that the tray was successfully encoded. Can you do that more than one time? Try it again and see what happens. So just like that, it scans the barcode and then encodes the RFID tag with the same exact serial number data yes. into the chip of the RFID tag. Yes. And that becomes a tracking number for that tray in the greenhouse? Yes. Wow. Okay. Okay. So that thing is ready to be This run is ready to now go through our production system. Okay. What happens if you have a bad RFID tag? Because you do get those once in a while. It will read the barcode, but if it cannot find an RF tag, it will throw up an error. Okay, look, you have an example for that here? Yes. Okay. So it sounded like a horn. Can you do that again? So it's reading the barcode and it cannot, it cannot encode the RFID. Yes. Okay. You can, you can find the tag but it cannot write to it. So it could be a, defunct, a defect in the chip or in the antenna or both. So you just reprint the label and, yes. and, and then encode it and you're good to go? Yes. Okay.
Well, thank you for that demonstration.